progress curve. We all want the progress to go from here beautifully up to there. And because that's where we see it in all the diagrams, so it's like implanted in our head as a visual as this is what progress is. However, in reality, it's much more squiggly, okay? But it is still going up on some level generically. So we all start off very motivated in whatever we decide to do, you know, if we're ready for it. So for example, you wanna start running, you wanna get healthy and fit, you've just started a new project, you've just started a new job, um, you know, you've got a baby coming that you're excited for, you're getting married, you know, it all starts off feeling great, doesn't it? Otherwise, why are we doing it in the first place? Okay, and we can visualise, we can see the end results. And that's what makes us start. But it's not always what keeps us going. Okay, so what happens, what tends to happen is on anything that you start out with, you start off with this great motivation, and then there is a natural plateau, okay? This happens for lots of us for various, various different reasons because that initial energy has waned off a bit and it's starting to sort of infiltrate your life more now. So after a few weeks, you know, they say it takes 21 days to change a habit. So after a few weeks, um, you're having to put a little bit more effort in, a little bit more. It's not a novelty anymore, is it, you know? So when that happens that's when we're looking at mindset stuff so you can come back to things like the nlp videos or more about the mindset part of this bundle what we tend to do is we give ourselves too much of a big goal and when we give ourselves this amazing goal i'm just going to be amazing and this is just going to be fantastic i'm going to do it in this amount of time then two things can happen we either don't start okay we just carry on down that path or we start and we reach this this plateau and, and a dip and we give up thinking that we failed because you know what, we always fail. And that is a mindset thing and we'll come on to that on another video. What I want to remind you about is this: this plateau is absolutely normal but for you to keep motivated is about accepting that this plateau will happen and that a dip will probably follow or a dip will come at some point either out of the blue or just a natural dip will come along. Now, I want you to remember that that doesn't mean that you're back at square one. It feels like that because you've been going up. So when there's a dip or a drop, even though you've not come right back down here, it can feel like, you know, your world has just melted away and all these different negative core beliefs can come back onto you and you think, what's the point? Or this is just how I am. Trust me, I've been there. And I was the kind of person that wanted to heal from adrenal fatigue in just a few months when I was at stage three. OK, so it's working with the mind on this respect. So when there is a dip, it's interesting when your mind is feeling a bit more active to look back at what happened before that dip. Was it a natural dip or was it that you overdid something? Was it that you, you fell off the healthy food wagon? You know, what was happening? Did you take on too much? Was it that particular person? Was it that you had a bad night's sleep? So these type of things help to build the puzzle of you to help you understand. So you can even start maybe filling in a little bit of a, what I call like a guidebook to yourself, where you could have like, you know, a bit like the drains and radiators exercise that I'll be giving you the, the video, quick video on. But things that don't work for you and things that do work for you. So where I've got in the quick tip section about things to avoid and things to do, you might be able to start your own list on that that is very unique to you. As I say, it's very much like the drains and radiators exercise. So you can go to that quick tip if um, that's something that is of interest to you.